I don't smile at me, I'm just talking. <laughs> okay, um, so let's just go straight into it. So as you know, I don't know if you know actually, but um, Jay and I work in a school and we see kids from a young age who have gone through like really traumatic things and we as adults know that if we were going through that our mental health would be affected and we see that in children and there's always that pressure that of like well especially like for me for example i always want to help the children yeah. but then the pressure like personally and with their mental health but then the pressure of making sure that they pass making sure that they get the grades making sure that um their education is where it needs to be kind of takes away from the importance of kind of dealing with the mental health and i was just thinking like what are your thoughts on like how to kind of not deal with but how to help um improve like mental health in young children and if you think you know how important it is to do something like that um yeah i think for me it's just communication and, and letting children know that their experiences and what they're going through are is pretty normal um i think a lot of children are well adults as well but a lot of people just are locked into you know i'm the only one suffering or going through that stuff and they're kind of taking the, the burden on themselves suffering on their own suffering in silence and not able to offload or share it mm -hmm. so i think it's just having a conversation with a child the same way that you'd have a conversation with an adult i think a lot of children are spoken to as children and a lot of children are um yeah, just unable to communicate. They've got to just deal mm. with things on their own because they're not spoken to like like adults. Yeah, yeah. But I think it's so hard in this day and age. Like, there's so much pressure to kind of to have children do well academically. That yeah. kind of like the, their personal being and their like well-being just kind of isn't as important. Even though it is. Yeah. But because of all the pressures, it's not important. But. Um, and and they're dealing with so much more stuff as well now because of like so, social media comes into the. Yeah. The picture and it's a, just another added stress like I couldn't actually imagine being in school and having that as social media like when mm. I was in school mm. only a handful of people had phones which actually were only used for like making calls yeah, and might have had yeah. a, a couple of like, dead games in them but now yeah. the phones do so much and are so much and there's and also can lead like to so much yeah, as well. yeah yeah and then there's also so much like um social pressure financially as well like with having stuff yeah and being part of a conversation and um yeah they've got a lot more pressure and mm. obviously they're in education for a longer duration of time yeah. as a standard so um i think it is something that that, that just needs to be spoken about really yeah. so i think I, I personally feel like conversation is going to be what makes a difference in the realm of like um mental health mm. and actually speaking about stuff and going to um the solutions of what is actually helped people um with what they're going through yeah yeah because uh, like I, I don't know like child trauma like um like sexual abuse and, and all things like that no one really has any conversations about it at all no, and you're i right. think like if you're going through that or experienced that or just had it it's like if you hear no one speaking about it then there's no place for you to speak yeah, about it because you're the only you're right, one that you're right you're right you're right i agree and i think it's so important that um because like you were saying earlier like sometimes you feel like you're the only one going through you know something or that you're the only one who knows about this or who's experienced yeah. something and i think if we make it normal to have those conversations then children will be more able to kind of move not move on in their life but move through life knowing that it's okay to you know feel this way and yeah. how to kind of improve i guess but i think it's like globally set an example because also if you put that just on on children they have the added pressure of social media of course and yeah. it's like being cool being having followers having like this is all things that kids have to think about yeah 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 yeah, that's true. And it's just the backlash that comes with it mm. as well. Like, um, and it, it was the same with men as well. Like, we have banter and jokes and take the mick out of each other. So it's like one minute that is the space that's set. So then, how can you now yeah. be vulnerable and have a, a vulnerable conversation mm. and, and know that it's not going to be used against you in the future? Um, so leading on from that, um, there's obviously like a lot of negative. Um, I think the word is stigma around like men talking about their mental health. 
Yeah. Um, do you think that's because they're kind of afraid um, what people like, how people will react, or it's a pride thing? Um, there's there's loads of factors, I guess. I think uh, there's not enough men having the conversation. Firstly, so it's not not normal. Um, also, there's just that whole men males expected to be sh like strong and 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 not be weak. So mm. I guess like opening up and having that vulnerability is another thing of like you know is that going to affect how women are going to look at me in, in relationships and. Um, I think a lot of men haven't actually worked their, their self out, like what, mm. what they're actually going through or what their whole experience and vibe is about. Yeah. So, yeah, um, yeah, I don't know if that's answered your question. No, yeah, I think, I think it's hard to answer that question, to be honest, I, it was a hard question. But just, just because you can never really know how someone is going to like take some news it can be about anything i could say to jay you know say something about how i'm feeling and he might react in a complete different way than how i think he'd react i think it's yeah, so yeah, yeah. i think what is important is to be able to go to someone who you can trust will help in the situation and i think that's another issue with males is that a lot of us don't know how to um support somebody who's going mm. through something so if a male opens up to another male it's more than likely they'll put them onto some like vices like oh let's go out for a drink or yeah. let's go and get some girls or go to the club or um stuff is not going to be beneficial or yeah help, help. without actually dealing with yeah the, with but i the, think yeah. females are probably better at like unpackaging what's going on and kind of coming to some sort of solution mm. um like therapy is another thing that's not really seen as being cool or okay to for a lot of men to, yeah. to go through so it's just having conversations about everything and letting people know that all of these things are available mm -hmm. like with me as well like uh, literature and books was something that i was never really given or anyone really said to me oh yeah this will be beneficial for you to to grow and expand and i've, I've kind of just like found that on my own journey but um that's something as well that i definitely want like you know to be a part of the conversation and i think with um people going through sort of anxiety, depression, they, they go to the, the, the um, GP and the first thing is like go on antidepressants at a low mm. dosage and it's not actually, you know, what was the, what's the causes or go in and try yeah. and actually find a solution. Um, yeah. Yeah. And, it's kind of like brushing it under the rug kind yeah, of. 100%. Yeah, 100%. And a lot of people have gone through stuff in their, in their childhood, whether it's um, set up their relationship with their father, um, mother, parents not being around mm. again like uh, child sexual abuse um, just loads of different stuff and um, people from sort of foster parents not having parents parents passing away like, there's all different things that, that factor in factor in 100%. and, and it's sort of created a person who they are now um, yeah so okay my last question okay okay <laughs> um, what are your do's and don'ts to wanting to get someone to open up because I think like, you know, sometimes you can see someone is struggling or feeling a bit down and you kind of want them to be like, like what's wrong so I can like help you, but you don't want to kind of pressurize them into yeah. say like, what what do you think is the best way to kind of get someone to open up? For me, I think it's, um, I think it's just being authentic and being real yourself and opening up to that person. I think a lot of people don't share anything with a person but are like, oh yeah, open up, share everything with me, what's your problems? what's mm. going on like talk to me I can talk but they don't set the environment or, or space for a, a safe conversation to, to happen and I think if people share you know what they've gone through or what their experience is or just have a level of vulnerability and not really have expectation in the conversation mm. um, I think yeah it, it, it's a lot I think you'll, you'll get better results in that way to, to support someone if you actually bear yourself first as opposed to just being like yeah what's wrong what's up share and open open mm. up because yeah it's just not the environment or space that someone's going to feel comfortable yeah to open it's up like in. the two-way street yeah yeah, yeah 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 but you Me can't even even if you're willing to open up and share mm. you can't just say to someone like you go first like, yeah 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 because <laughs> yeah, that's like that could do have the complete opposite effect and like completely shut them off yeah, and yeah, stop yeah, them yeah, from yeah. like and not just talking to you but anyone else as well and you don't know how deep you're going to take it like so yeah. obviously if someone says, oh, how are you? The common answer is, oh, yeah, I'm fine. Mm. But then 
oh no like if you want to go deeper than that then, then how just having a surface level conversation because it's not the norm to have deep conversations it's yeah. like how deep are we going like, yeah. how, like where's this conversation gonna go because i don't want to you know um go into some something deep from my childhood and then you're like oh wow yeah like, <laughs> and then uh, all right then <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> have yeah, a good yeah, day yeah. and then you know stroll yeah. off yeah no i get what you're saying i get what you're saying okay. Um, so yeah, just want to say thank you, Leon, for coming on. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> and um, don't forget to follow Leon on Instagram and the Man Talk as leave well. Jay here. will leave it um, down below. Yep. And yeah, if you like what you see, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.